Well, welcome back. Today I want to talk about my horizontal bandsaw. Now, I'll give you a little better view. This little thing is one of those cheap imports. And it's uh, just fine for what I typically do. But right now I've got the work holding jaws off. And the reason for that is simple that uh, I'll put this back down here. You can see. When I'm trying to clamp stock in here, if I have a short piece that only goes like up to here to there, say three, four inches long, if I clamp it, the movable jaw wants to rotate. And uh, the problem arises when I am cutting stock for the tool handle ferrules that I make out of stainless steel. Uh, typically I get them in like four to six foot long pieces and I cut them into blanks on this saw. And then I take them into my shop in the basement where I have my metal lathe and I finish the ends to length. But uh, now it's hard to clamp when it gets short. So I'm making extension jaws that will bolt onto the originals and extend it just about right up to the blade, which are long enough then I could put another piece of stock the same thickness as the one that I'm cutting on the other side of this pivot point, and that way there this jaw won't try to rotate. So right now I have them off. I have already cut the pieces that I'm gonna put on there, on this saw actually, and they're down in the uh, other shop so we can go down there and I'll show you what the layout is and what my approach is going to be. Well, as I said, here are the jaws that I took off and I've got the extension pieces in place here so you can see how it's going to work. Now, this is the jaw and you can see a better ending point here. This is the movable jaw, and this is the stationary jaw here. So, as you can see, now that if you line them up, this is about where the blade is going to come, just a little bit away from these. So they'll extend right close to the blade, and then particularly with the short movable jaw, you can see how it's extended back quite a ways. And that will allow me to put a piece of material the same thickness here when I have a really short piece up forward here. And then the uh, jaw, this particular jaw, particularly, or <laughs> I keep saying particular, um, won't pivot. So it'll be supported on both ends. Now, you see I've got the bars sitting vertically. And of course you think, well... It'll be stronger if they're, you know, laid down. Yes, they would be, but I'm. if you look at the distance here, it's very short. And this is 5 8 inch thick. I'm not going to put enough clamp force to deflect this appreciably at all. So I'm not worried about that. Plus, with the stock I'm going to be cutting, 1 inch diameter, I'll still be on the jaw here. So it'll be supported, and this will work out. Now what I'm going to do is just use conventional quarter 20 screws like that. I'm going to drill holes here and uh, through the cast iron into the uh, coal roll. And I'm going to drill it. The first uh, hole I'm going to drill is going to be the basically the tap drill uh, for threading. And then I'll make the hole through the cast iron bigger so I could just put the bolt through and then it'll thread into this jaw and then uh, it'll be short enough to not poke through. So that'll secure these to the original cast iron pieces and then I'll be able to mount these back on the saw. So I'm going to do that now off camera. It's just drilling holes and tapping them. Nothing too exciting about that. And then once I'm done, of course, the clamps won't be in place. You'll get to see the finished product. Then we'll go up and put them back on the saw. And then the fun part, we get to try them.
Well, I got the uh, jaws mounted on the jaws. I'll say the extensions mounted. See, I just put a couple uh, bolts in through, tapped them, and uh, there you go. This is the stationary jaw, which will go here. And this is the movable jaw, which will go on the uh, hand crank bolt. So let's get these mounted now. And uh, you see, I've reworked this too before. I disabled the uh, sweep angle jaw capability because I just plain never going to use it. <clears throat> So I can uh, put this guy here. Let's get uh, that washer I just dropped. This gets here. What I'm going to do is uh, <clears throat> tighten this in using my square <clears throat> to make sure that it's uh, square with the blade. Let me tighten it. Actually, that's coming in pretty good, so. Let me get my wrenches, which I forgot to get. I'll be right back. Okay. So, now what I want to do is one more check. <clears throat> now I have to mount the movable one. This requires that I reach under here and pull that nut up and put the bolt in place. And I'll just make this a little bit snug. Then I'll just uh, clamp it against the fixed jaw, and that will square it. I'm having a heck of a time getting this started. Okay, here we go. Different socket for that one, of course. Okay, now, now, let me show you what this has done for me. 
Get the tools out of the way. Now, this is what all that has done for me. You see how they can pull right up close to the blade now. So now I can hold pieces right up close here. And when I have a piece that is short, I just have to get an equal width piece over here so it balances out the forces so that this jaw doesn't try to pivot. And that should be good for uh, allowing the saw to hold closer to the blade with the smaller short pieces. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Okay, now you can see what I was doing. You see these the jaws are extending out. This piece that I'm cutting is short now. I've got my one inch backer block here to balance out the forces before, if you see where the screw is, I could never cut a piece this short. It'd be twisting this jaw around. So let's see how it works now. we can do it again. See if it'll hold this short of a piece. See no reason not to push the limit. Let's give it another go. like this would have been impossible before. Here's the end of the original jar. So
So, as you can see, this is doing what I wanted it to. Now, for the last one, I don't know, I probably could cut that. I could just machine that to length and be done with it. So I think I'll do that. But you can see what these extensions do for me. And when I get really short, I just have to balance the force with another block over there. So that's my uh, story on my horizontal fan saw. Hope you enjoyed it.